I see a lot of videos talking about how to make your 3D renders look more realistic, but what about making them feel more realistic? Have you ever heard the expression imperfections make it perfect? Well, this is especially true in the visual effects world. Now, one of my favorite ways for adding realism to my renders is to use cause and effect. This is where you can look at an action happening in your scene and think about what would be the repercussions of that action in real life. I recently used this method for my short film Banished where there's a scene where, spoiler alert, the good guy shoots the bad guy. So I took a step back and thought about, okay, what if this were a real shoot with real actors and real props? Well, the first and most obvious thing to add is a muzzle flash and a shell ejecting from the gun. The next thing I added was a little bit of blood splattering on the lens of the camera to increase the immersion. Now to take it a step further, I really wanted to feel the weight of shooting a gun through my character's movement. If you've ever seen a movie or TV show where they use blank firing guns, then you've probably seen where an actor will blink and flinch when the gun goes off. So that's exactly what I added to my main character. His face reacts when the gun goes off. And I made sure that the recoil of the gun kicks his arm up higher because he's shooting with one hand. If you shoot with two hands, you'll have much more control and stability over the gun. And for the final part, I asked myself what would happen to the cameraman if they were filming this in real life. So I added a slight jerk to the movement as if the gunshot made them jump. So be sure to use cause and effect to help you think outside the box and add realism to your 3D renders.